In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started on Google Shopping Ads with a high level overview of the whole process from start to finish. Hey, I'm Daryl from BigFlare. At my agency BigFlare, we manage millions of dollars in Google Shopping Ads and have done so for almost a decade now. Have you ever noticed that there's tons of content out there teaching you granular aspects of Google Shopping Ads, but it's really confusing to know where to start and what order to do things in. I noticed exactly that recently. And so I decided to shoot this video for you to sort all of that out. In this video, I'm going to give you the high level steps you need to take to get launched on Google Shopping. We will start at the beginning and work our way through right up until launching your campaigns and then optimizing them post launch. I'm not going to go into detail on every single step. What I will do though, is give you the big picture so that you know what all the steps are, what order to do them in, and then you will be easily able to fill in the blanks yourself. Before we dive into the first step, let's give you the overall picture. Here are the six steps that I'll teach you today. Now, I recommend you pause this video and write those steps down. I wanna get through each step in a short amount of time today, so I won't have time to give you all the details on each step, but for each step, what you can do is, if you need to fill in the gaps, later on you can do additional research to fill in the blanks when you get to that step. As we go through the steps, I will also point you in the direction of further research to help your understanding. The first thing you will need to do is set up an account with Google Merchant Center. Sometimes we in the PPC world abbreviate that to GMC. So if you ever see that abbreviation in the context of Google Shopping Ads, it means Google Merchant Center. Google Merchant Center is a free Google product that is a totally different account to your Google Ads account. Just Google the term, set up Google Merchant Center and follow the instructions on the page from Google that you will find. The account is quick and easy to set up and you can mostly do it there in one sitting on your web browser. Now there is an important step that happens after your GMC account is set up and it has to happen before you can get started on Google Shopping Ads. That step is verifying and claiming your store's website. There's a Google help file on how to do this, which you can find by searching for verify and claim Google Merchant Center. Go over that page and follow the steps it outlines. First, you will need to verify that you are authorized to access your website. There are four options for this. You can do it by HTML tag, HTML file upload, Google Tag Manager, or Google Analytics. Now this step can sometimes cause a bit of a delay, especially if you need to work with your developer to set up the HTML file upload. So remember that when budgeting your time for getting all this set up. After you have verified you own that website, you will be able to claim it in Merchant Center. This will then lock that website to that Merchant Center account, making a permanent association in Google between that website and that GMC account. The next step is to go and create your product feed. Your product feed is sort of like a big spreadsheet of data that houses all your product information, such as title, price, image, and description. There are a few different options for how to do this, and I give you an overview of those options in my video titled, Three Ways to Upload Your Product Feed in Google Merchant Center. But the gist of that video is this. If you only have a few products, say 10 or less, probably it's best to create your product feed as a G sheet. There's a template you can access from inside Google Merchant Center, which you can use for this. If you have more than 10 products and or your product data is often changing and needs to be easily updated dynamically based on the information on the website, then I recommend you go and use a premium product feed app such as feedoptimize.com to create your data feed. Oh, by the way, we say data feed and product feed and even product data feed pretty interchangeably in common PPC lingo. So if you hear any one of those terms, then you should know that they're all the same thing. When your product feed is created, you'll need to make sure it is attached to Google Merchant Center before you proceed to the next step. Again, my video on three ways to upload your product feed to Google Merchant Center has more detail on this, or failing that, there are tons of articles and videos out there about this exact step. 
Setting up a Google Ads account is pretty straightforward and a necessary next step. Once again, just Google the term set up Google Ads account and follow the instructions. It will ask if you want to set up in smart mode or expert mode. Smart mode forces you to make a campaign right at the start and we don't necessarily want to do that yet. So go ahead and select expert mode. It should be straightforward to get the account set up, but here are some vital steps that you want to make sure you don't miss. No Google Ads account is going to run until after you have sorted out all the billing stuff with Google. So make sure to go ahead and do this as part of your account setup process. You also need to make sure that conversion tracking is set up and it's accurately tracking revenue. This step is a step that Google will actually allow you to skip if you want to, but do not skip this step. Without it, you are flying totally blind with no idea if your shopping ads are actually generating sales or not. From inside the account, click on Tools and Settings and head on over to Conversions. Create a new conversion action and choose the website option. From here, follow the directions to get the pixel installed. For your goal, select Purchase. For value, make sure you tell it to track different values for each conversion. Assuming you have more than one price point you want to track here, head over to the next section. Oops, you do need to make sure you chose a unique conversion action name, otherwise you'll get an error here. And now you can go ahead and get the tag installed. If you are installing it directly on the site and not using Google Tag Manager, choose the option to insert the tag yourself. There will now be two tags to install. The global site tag needs to go on every page of your site. It helps to build remarketing lists and set cookies on your domain. The event snippet is the bit that actually tracks the sale and will go on your thank you page. An important step here is to remember to customize the value parameter so that it reports the transaction value of the purchase the user just made. And also insert an order ID in the relevant field to help Google deduplicate sales and ensure double counting does not happen. Once you've done all that, you'll need to make sure that your Google Ads account is connected to Google Merchant Center. There's a help file from Google that is titled Link Your Merchant Center and Google Ads Accounts. Search for that phrase, find that help file, and just run through the steps there. It's really easy. Step four is going to be to actually create your new shopping campaigns from within Google Ads itself. There are definitely tons of guides and how-tos on this specific step out there, but it all starts when you log into Google Ads and hit the plus button to create a new campaign and select the shopping option. The campaign walkthrough in Google Ads will also guide you through this bit, but here are a few points you will want to consider in further detail. You need to decide if you want to go with smart shopping or standard shopping. I have a video on smart shopping versus standard shopping, which goes into this in greater detail. However, the short version of that is if you want the easy settings with less control, choose smart shopping. If you want the less easy setting with more control, choose standard. Another consideration is what bid strategy you will start on. If you're using smart shopping, it is going to start you out on maximized conversion value, which is totally fine. Just make sure to pair it with a fairly low daily budget so it does not bid too high. On standard shopping, you have a bit more choice, but also you don't have access to the maximized conversion value to start with. What I'll often recommend doing here is to start off with maximized clicks at first, paired with a fairly low daily budget to keep your CPC bids from going too high. Later, as you get conversions and data, you can start to increase the budget and also make a switch to target ROAS bidding. Now it's time to click the big go button on your campaigns. There's nothing much to say here and not much detail in this point. Just make sure that before you click the big go button, you double check all your settings in Google Ads and Google Merchant Center. The amount of times the last minute pre-launch double check has saved me from making a mistake with my settings is crazy, so don't skip this step. At this point, our shopping ads campaign has been launched, and that's the end of the scope of this video. Now, it's all about optimizing your campaign to improve it over time, and much can be said, written, and researched about this step. A few quick points, though. Usually, you start with a low budget and one of the maximized bid strategies either maximize conversion value or maximize clicks. But this is just a starting point. After you start, assuming the results come in okay and look good, 
slowly raise your budgets to get more data quicker. As you get more data, you should be tracking conversions. And once you get to around 30 conversions per 30 day period, you want to switch to target ROAS bidding. When you switch to target ROAS, keep the target ROAS you aim for similar to the actual ROAS that has been achieved. Then, if you need to change that ROAS, slowly change it in successive steps, always allowing time and data for the algorithm to learn in between each change. As I already mentioned, there is a lot more to know about this optimization step, and a lot of that stuff can be found if you go to my channel homepage and click on my playlist for Google Shopping Ads. I'll also be publishing more videos on the optimization part of things. So if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button right now. Google Shopping Ads can be confusing to get to grips with at first, but with my help, it doesn't have to be. So go ahead and subscribe now to stay tuned. To Google Merchant Center, Burp on the title. Let's do that again. Oops. And also in sort. Uh, in sort. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. Done.